everywhere. They are frustrated and they are leaving because they can no, they feel like they can no longer uh, continue to advocate where no one is listening to them. More nurses working from the Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner Program here in Manitoba have quit. The union representing these nurses who collect evidence of sexual and domestic assault here in the province say these resignations are due to a lack of staffing and support. The program was expanded by the Manitoba government 11 months ago with the intention of providing coverage around the clock but the program has not been able to deliver to that promise. The program has been struggling to find full-time staff and have been relying on nurses who work full-time in other areas to pick up shifts. We're still looking at, at what um, our gaps are right now. However, we do have a backup plan. Jennifer Kumtze says effective Thursday, a number of doctors and nurse practitioners who she says willingly volunteered to help will step up and fill the gaps. This comes as the health care system continues to deal with a major nursing shortage. We will be able to continue to provide care for survivors that prevent for care. Until recently, the program had 12 casual staff and one full-time nurse. Now seven casual nurses with specialized training have left the program. The union representing the nurses in Manitoba said earlier this year that due to staffing shortages, some sexual assault victims were being told not to shower and to come back later because no one was available to examine them. President Darlene Jackson has been sounding the alarm for several months over the program staffing. I'm not sure where we go from here. I know that we uh, do have gaps in the program and I know those gaps are growing. Jackson says the nurses who resigned from this program feel let down. It's such a shame because that's what we're all here for. We're here to provide good, solid, quality, safe patient care and, and service to those individuals requiring it. And I feel like, and they feel like they're failing these victims. Earlier this week, Manitoba's Health Minister Audrey Gordon blamed Shared Health after several of the nurses in the program quit. Manitoba's opposition NDP have since called for the resignation of Gordon for these comments. On Thursday, Gordon says she is committed to getting the program fully staffed, but in the meantime, she says bringing in physicians to fill the gaps is, quote, a good workaround. What I'm satisfied with is getting that program fully up and running and fully staffed to meet the needs of individuals who experience this horrible trauma. That is our government's commitment and that is when I will be satisfied. In Winnipeg, Alex Carver, City News.